everybody. Today we're working on uh, junipers again. I know we got a lot of junipers, but uh, these are this is out of the group that I picked up at uh, Lowe's, and we're gonna do a styling and a slip potting into this pot, and maybe even a touch of wiring. I'm gonna it's sort of a test on this one. I'm gonna see how far I can push one at this time of year. I think I can push a juniper real far. I don't think I can mess with the roots too much. I don't think you can do too much with the roots on the juniper. And when you first learn about these things, they tell you, oh, all the strength is up here in the foliage. But I think that's kind of false. I don't really think that's the truth. I think the roots is where they're weakest at. If you go in there and take too much of the roots off, try to re even just repot them. I think if you just do a true repot, at the wrong time of the year just kills junipers. I don't think they can take, I think the roots is what you have to be very careful with. I think this top part you can actually cut almost all of it completely off, leave a little bit of green somewhere and I think that guy will live. So it's hard to, for me to say that the, the strength is in the foliage. I think the juniper is just a strong survivable tree if the roots, if it stays planted like you. That's why they're so gnarly. That's why you see so many crazy things with them in the wild and the natural environment that they can take almost anything as long as any little greens alive somewhere they'll push through once the roots start having issues that kills off the rest of the, the foliage can't push new roots that as fast so anyway we're gonna give that a shot may have went in a little too much of what i think they're behind junipers why people struggle with them i think what people are telling you is why and when and what which is true they don't like a ton as far as the roots, uh, you know, when people and the stuff you'll read on when to repot is probably the right way, you know, early spring is about the only time to mess, to go in and really work on the roots. But like a slip pot, just pull it out and pop it in that, you know, take off the outer little crusty area, I guess you'd call it, and, and put in a pot. I've had, so far I've had luck doing that. But anyway, guys, buckle up, hang on, wish me luck. Here we go. Pretty much going to start this like I do most of them. I'll pull this guy out some, just to let me see in here. I know you guys won't be able to see a lot. It's hard to make out. Put it on the camera, but just by doing that, I'll try to show you. You know, it opens up some of the inside of the tree to where I can start seeing what I have to work with in here. Knock off the old topsoil buildup that usually goes a little ways before there's any roots in it. So I like to take that off because especially when you're just slip potting Whatever you can get off there instantly raises it up, you know, just a little more as you go to put it in the other pot. And you can always put a little bonsai soil on top if you need to get it back. You know, you want to add a little more. Just helps make it, you know, a little more visually appealing. Now this one has some roots pretty close right off the top. And it's got roots all the way down. So getting it in here may be a challenge. I may not be able to. I may, just because of the time of the year, I may not be able to put it in that pot. I'd like to if, if say, some of them you'll get, and for whatever reason, from overwatering or whatever, this part will just fall off. And this part may still, but I don't know. This one does have enough roots going. I may just throw some stuff under here, get it propped up do a styling and leave it like I mentioned before the the roots is where I don't want to do too much tampering with today all right I'm moving you guys over here I'm trying to find good lighting it's very uh, cloudy today I'm outside but the lighting is not the greatest but I'm trying to find a spot here where you can see a little better what I got going on I've started to clean out the inside we sort of have a good uh, movement going here but it all seems to be the good movement is on this side this top 
kind of comes up now branches off over here to this is almost kind of straight but it, then it curls right back to this top pad has good movement and then the stuff in the back is not a lot of great movement try to pull it out here a little bit if you guys can make out there's our the good movement from over here so that's probably what I'll try to work with on this tree cut these guys back I'll probably leave the lower branches this is a little tree and needs you know more time to grow out so since I know I don't want a cascade of any kind and I'm not going to use any of this over here for any kind of apex I am going to cut these down and this one, all this long stringy growth, I'm going to cut it back to probably, and we'll cut it here for now. Get rid of that. This guy, I'm actually going to cut way back to probably here, somewhere in here do away with all that and then I'm gonna come in here and clear a lot of this stuff out I'm basically just cutting these real if it's still on the beginning if they're on the trunk or the you know very first part of the branches I want to cut those off it just you know those make it look like a bush instead of a tree and a young anything at that so you want to get those out of there to just makes it look like something that's older you know me I like dead wood and I've been looking at this tree I've cleaned it out a little more since I've uh, stopped filming kind of open it up somewhat I've got real good the trunk has real good movement over to here see that good flow kind of stays level I need to bring it up this part here where it's spliced off from the original this would kind of be like a it's almost like a twin trunk it splits out it's so thick so and that's all this part right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this to uh, deadwood, you know, create a gin here. That should open up the tree. And then I'm gonna try to take this just by getting a stick or something and pushing it in the soil and just bringing this top up for the apex. And if any of you have seen my other videos, uh, process is pretty simple and easy it takes a little extra time to instead of just chopping a limb off or branch part of the trunk on a twin trunk is the you can always cut it off after you decide you know you're like oh that I don't like that but I like to turn this stuff into deadwood have a big gin there and then go from there cut back what I need to it's almost like something happened to the tree that this died off but this grew And on any of these junipers, the, any of the, you know, deadwood creates a, adds character to the tree, so it's usually a good thing. Sometimes it can be too much. Some people, they say overdo it, but I, I like it, so I think it adds a lot to most of the trees that I've seen anyway that, you know, somebody else has done that I like the looks of. So the best way to just cut all the foliage off okay I got all the foliage off hopefully you can see now why I didn't like this part of the tree you can make out how straight this this trunk branch whatever you'd want to call it just comes almost straight out and then this one shoots out I may end up wiring this when I'm done just a little bit like that or I don't know I may just who knows what I'll do I may just shorten them both up to like here and here is probably what I'll do but we're gonna turn them into deadwood and I guess before I do that, I like to kind of make a... Now I can go a little further 
if I choose to, but just so I don't peel way past where I want to go, I like to just kind of cut the bark to weaken it so I don't go too far. Then it's as easy as just squeezing the branch trunk and starting to peel it off. I like to try to squeeze all that I can before I start peeling. And usually it'll just start falling off on its own when it's green like this. You see it's a little, not much more work, a little twist here and there and it comes right off. See how easy that is. So we're going to peel all this off and see what we have. I usually just pinch the ends and at least get it started to, you know, so it doesn't look like a cut. Looks like it's either been broken or something happened to it. And then, since this tree is so early on in its development stages, that if it even stays, will won't take long to look like a natural thing that happened to it. And I'm still undecided if I'm going to leave these long or what I'm going to do. But we're already starting to get a little bit of a shape of what our tree is going to look like. And I'll probably just leave that for now. Alright guys, to be honest, I'm still undecided on this tree. But I thought I'd let you know where my head's at. And this is something you should do also while you're you know initial styling on anything you're working with you know take your time you may have one idea going stop look at other options this tree has any different options of which way you could have went before I cut those other I could have turned it into a cascade done a lot of things with it I've even thought about I was going to show you guys that a possibility now I'm not going to do this but it, it did cross my mind I thought about turning all of the bigger part into deadwood and just leaving the little part to grow and eventually you know be a tree like that where it looked like a bigger massive tree that had died off and then the little stuff grew up and then what I also thought about doing is I've got this branch that I really don't I don't know it just kind of doesn't do anything but I had kind of stuck it up here and I thought about putting it intertwined with the deadwood and just leaving it like that I still may do that and then just but I don't know if I like that or not but on another thing I realized also what I have here and it's going to be hard to show you guys because it took me a while to even see it up on the top of this apex part if you guys will be able to see that or not the tree basically splits off again into a double and almost mimics itself there's a top part well right here and then just under it I'll try to show you without splitting it just under it it's spliced off and there's one under it so I'm thinking I'm going to turn that bottom part that's just too much going on but I think I turned the bottom part into deadwood and that that'll make up for a you know give it a more dynamic look overall so I think that's what I'm going to do and then go from there okay so hopefully you can make out what I did there see what I was talking about how it was like a double branch so we turned that part into deadwood 
and now I'm going to come in here before I take off any more branches or anything and I'm just going to cut it back to you know bring the tree in then we'll do a overall styling of it or continue on with the overall styling of it this is just kind of bringing it in kind of the top apex of the other one I may let I may let that one grow Alright, I went and added some junk to the bottom of this to get this guy raised up in this pot. Probably should have done that earlier on, but if you guys haven't seen that in any, it's in my, I think, last video I did on this uh, porch. I just basically grabbed some old dead grass just to get it raised in there while I'm working on it. Still debating about trying to make it fit in this pot, but I'm telling myself no, but I also know how I am. I, I hate these. I want to get it in a pot before next year. Maybe I'll just get a bigger, deeper version of that. But it's come along pretty good. I'll try to give you guys a full turn here. What we're working with so far. You guys are in luck. More deadwood. I've decided I don't like this one. It's, it's in the center of the curb, but I'm going to turn to deadwood before I just take it out. I kind of like this guy. I don't like this one under it, so I'm going to turn the under this piece. Not this one. I'm going to leave it. This one under here, I'm going to turn to deadwood. This one I'm going to leave. I'm going to turn this one to deadwood, and like I mentioned, this guy, and see what that looks like. I may end up taking this guy completely off and out of the picture. All right, guys. We're almost done. Rain's coming in. Of course, I'm covered. I'm going to go look for a stick or something to prop this guy up. Now, I don't know if I like that or not, but I leave it, and I can take it off. I wanted to tell you guys real quick though, if you're looking at some of my videos going, that's all good and all, and I like your idea of taking this and that branch out, but I don't like deadwood. With a pair of these, these concave cutters, you can easily just take all that stuff out. You could just snip it there, there, anywhere I've added deadwood, you could, you know, snip that off flush and you got a tree without any deadwood. It, it's that easy. I like to leave it and it can always be taken off. You know, I can come back here next month next year whatever and i could always cut that back off if i don't like it but i like to i like a lot of deadwood i think it adds uh, character to your trees but it's you know it's up to you guys it's going to be your tree that you're working on all right we're back and you can see the tree got taller i'll show you what i did i it's kind of a process to do it but i got a piece of wood and i had to actually stick it down in and make a base for this to not sink into the ground but I basically just propped it up with a stick. So I went, all this stuff I found in the yard. And I had to put that other sliver of tree down in there to give this thing a, something to hold on to. And I'll cover this over with some bonsai soil. But hopefully you can see what it did. It raised, got the tree up. I still, I'm not real happy with it. It almost created some straight line right there, but that can all be addressed later with some heavier wire. got the stick from the backyard got that propped up I'm gonna to try to get this thing here sucked in a little closer 
we'll do a little more branch work here's our apex well I'll probably try to wire it up and pull it up to here and you'll see we've got the beginnings of a pretty good tree just out of a garden center of juniper uh, percumbens nana all right everybody I'm actually gonna call this guy good we've kind of got the outer silhouette of a tree it's got a lot of good movement we created by that stick that I added back here it actually looks it looks good from right here also But from right there also, we still need to do something with the apex, but that can be later on. I, I kind of want to let the tree grow another season. But it really has two fronts right at the moment. Taking a lot of foliage off this tree, and it is uh, getting towards the end of summer. Not really the time to do it. All right, guys. Hope you liked that uh, video. As you can see, we took... This is another one I'm getting ready to do up here. I just, these are a few of those uh, uh, Percumbens Nana Junipers I picked up at Lowe's. And this one just a couple hours ago looked like this guy. Didn't take a lot of work. And we have a cool looking bonsai to start with. And like I said, it's the wrong time of year. I'd, I'm not gonna repot this guy. I probably will uh, early spring get him in a pot hopefully that stick has done something if not I'll put the stick right back you know prop it back up again but uh, just wanted to show you guys how easy you can do this it's it's not rocket science if I can do it you can do it so like I said I've not taken any classes as of today I've not you know I don't know if I've read a full book I, I've had a couple books I've looked through I've done a lot of you know watching YouTube videos like you're watching right now and you know just kind of you need to develop your own style anyway you do need to learn how to keep these things alive is the most important part of this whole bonsai thing uh, is kind of study up a little bit on how to keep them alive you if you're doing bonsai trees and you do very many you probably will kill some some will probably not make it Sometimes they just won't make it in general. I, I've went to nurseries and seen, you know, that they, they they just have some trees will, you know, die. But anyway, hope you like this video. Hit that like button. It's somewhere down there if you did. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And also hit the little bell. It lets you know it'll pop up as soon as I put a video out. And I do do bass and bonsai. Usually you can read the first heading. It'll tell you if I'm doing something related to bass or bonsai if you just want to watch one or the other. And uh, also help help me share this channel. I'm, uh, I'm going to probably have to cut back a little bit due to a job and everything. But I'm still going to be putting videos out. But uh, help me sp spread the word, get this channel going. So I hope to put out, you know, where I get lets me I'm gonna be able to put out better quality uh, more in-depth videos but anyway guys and I do mean this every time I say it 100% guys thanks for watching